Hmm. Let's go back to Amaranthine first. <sighs> Grey Warden seemed to do a lot of Be walking. Be wary. There is much in this world that would prey on you. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of quests to hand in back here. Otherwise, the place looks about the same. But we know that peasants are getting upset. We never thought we'd be rid of those smuggler rats. Yeah. Thank you, Warden Commander. Hey, this dude right here is the one with the pure iron we needed for that one quest, right? I saw it, but I didn't buy it because I didn't know what it was for. So we can buy it now. All right. So good to see you again. It seems I owe you a reward, yes? Yes, of course. I have nothing to do with all this money, really. It is so good to see you well, Commander. Is that it? Oh, I handed it in all at the same time? I think so. You're back. Have you any news? Belana's right here, in our party. <laughs> I've dealt with your problem. The killing should stop now. Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I hope the culprits have been brought to justice. Would you like to say something, Velana? No, I would like to leave. Um, oh, uh, greetings, uh, milady. Uh, surely I have you to thank as well for the, um... Urge to leave, not abating. I, um... Yes. I promised a donation, didn't I? Here, take this. With the Merchant's Guild's compliments. I do feel like I put her in a pretty tough spot there just now, so I don't blame her for being like, no, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Keep it. Do something for the families of the slain. You are very kind, Commander. I shall do as you ask. Make a smile on you always. Got too much money. So sorry, Valana. Sorry that I made you do that. I understand that wasn't comfortable. But eventually we should do or say something. You feel bad about it too, don't you? You got the wrong people. I so this has it. just never been a thing. Okay. Um... Ooh, tree. Tree. You're the first elf I've ever known. Do you feel honored? Why would I feel <laughs> honored? Your actions will influence my opinions of your race. Forever. Oh, thank you. I needed more anxiety. Glad to help. <laughs> Same for her with you. For dwarves, probably. This is a beautiful tree. I did not expect to find one strong and thriving in a Shemlin town. Why? Can't humans be gardeners? I suppose nature touches the heart of all who listen. Even humans. You may not recognize, but this is a Dal Amithal. The Tree of Mithal. Our Keeper's staves are cut from its like. Our Keeper, Ilshe, had a staff cut for me. For when I would take on her role. Oh, she was like a keeper apprentice? Does that mean that her whole Dalish clan is gone? Oh my gosh. Did you never become keeper? Clearly not. And no, besides, sorry. Why do you care? <sighs> Enough of this. I wish to move on. Sorry. Okay, you know what? You gotta stop pulsating. Please stop pulsating. Which one is it? The air of insolence. Okay. Um, let me... Can I actually still click on this for someone else? Oh! It shall Curious. Be done. This man I inhabit once worshipped this woman. Her and the one they call the Maker. Do you believe in this Maker as he did? I don't know what to believe. In the Fade, 
Some spirits believe a creator gave us life and separated us from this world. But do they believe that only because they see the Maker in the dreams of mortals? So much of the Fade is created by spirits, desperate to emulate your kind. I'm surprised spirits even think about it. Many do not care. Demons live in the moment, but those of us who seek something greater, we wonder. Here, you can be certain that what is has always been. Is that not comforting? No. Hmm. It's comforting when some things stay the same. It's disturbing when other things stay the same. <laughs> this world changes all the time, just not physically. Events occur, but they occur within context. You take the structure of your world for granted. Faith requires structure and belief. In the Fade, we have neither. I see why the demons are so eager to pass through the Veil. It is something to consider. Something that you got to have. Very freely. You're going beyond the call of duty, Warden Commander. We're grateful. Okay, if I want to finish all the side quest stuff now, um... Oh, can I switch out to Anders here? Wait, who has the herbalism again? Not anyone in my current party. I'm just wondering, because the this board from the Living Wood. Oh, Ancient Sylvans. Yes, 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 I got your stuff. Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. What? <laughs> Vilana, Anders getting mad at me for collecting wood. You guys get mad at me for everything. Vigils keep, weiss. I want to get this one done ASAP. We have two potent health poultices. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Actually, what do we need? Potent health poultice. Uh, I don't even have enough to make more than one though, because I don't have enough elf root. Where do I get elf root here? Probably some merchant. Well, okay, I'm not gonna think about it for now. I'm just trying to see if there's any more clickable dialogue here. Uh, maybe I'll just look up where all the locations are before we move on, because I think. Unless if you're bringing the right person to the right place, you just won't see it, right? But for now, let's go back to Vigil's Keep then. I think we're all right here. Unless if the Blight Orphans have something more. I think they're okay though. They apparently felt bad. I'll do it. No, that's it. That's it. I'll never know what happened to Melise. This thing you did. The murders of those men in the forest. What of it? What you did was wrong. You must make amends. And to whom should I make these amends? Those humans are dead, if you recall. You must make amends to humans. It was your condemnation of their race that led to your folly. I wouldn't expect that to occur anytime soon. Two extremes? Velana not wanting to make any amends for what horrible thing she did, whereas Justice... I personally don't think it was necessary for him to go do something about Kristoff's wife, but he insisted on doing something, you know, whether it is appropriate or not. Well, why don't you two hang around each other more then? I don't know. I don't have time to think about your problems all day long, okay? <laughs> I gotta... there's so much we gotta do. Any luck finding the granite? The Wending Wood has some granite. Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. How important is this? You can't neglect your stronghold. If the Vigil falls, where would that leave your lands? Merchants and farmers aren't much against an army of darkspawn. But what if the peasants come now? Ah, fine, you'll have your guards. Thank you, Commander. The Vigil will not fall, I swear it. We better hurry up then. 
I pity the siege crew that tries to breach our walls. Ah. Master Wade, oh, everybody, lyrium dust? Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? I found some lyrium sand. Splendid, truly splendid. We've enough lyrium sand to keep us busy for a long time. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I still haven't used the other explosive you gave me. Not yet. Okay, cool. Oh, hey! Trade here is good. Thank you. Are you staying? The other lady's gone. You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Amaranthine abounds with mineral wealth. Master Wade has more than he needs to equip all of your men suitably. Thank you so much for finding all this dreary metal. Haran, you must be happy. Ecstatic. Now, now, no more time to waste. I have enough stuff for your golem shell thingy. One second, okay? I'll be right back. Are you done with the basement? I shudder to think what would happen if you hadn't cleared the basement. If Darkspawn attacked again, we'd be wide open. Oh, maybe we're gonna go down there as a way to go to the deep roads? Maybe. Any messages? Commander. Just give me a moment. Nope. I guess that's all for now. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. Well, perhaps you should help us instead. The spirits consider mortals beyond their reach and beyond help. They do not understand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here, and the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. Are you saying we're friends now? A friend? That is an interesting concept. I do not know how to respond to that. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Yes. I have a Lyrium ring in the storage. You're no mage. What do you need Lyrium for? I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache I didn't know I had. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That is most kind. Oh, we have a lot of people there now. Okay, hold up everybody, hold up. I don't think we should dally here. Your lyrium ring, greater warmth balm. They're talking in the back. Grandmaster flame rune. Oh, aqua magus? Is this also a lyrium thing? Lyrium ring? Take it all out maybe. Botanist's map of Thetis. We don't have Innes here. <laughs> Innes isn't part of my people. Ah, uh, maybe I think Justice would probably like this too. Lyrium, book about Lyrium. Who wants scarves? Wow. Guess who likes this one? Dragon piss. Uh, diamond? Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Those merchants you helped in Amaranthine were so impressed they're sending regular caravans our way. I have new stock if you'd like to see. Yes. Do you have elf fruit? Do you have... Why don't you have potent health poultices? Why don't you have that? What's new? <laughs> What's new? Charlatan's walking stick. Not much. It's the same stuff. And stuff that I sold you. <laughs> Salvage trade goods. Okay, thanks, but no thanks. Need something pummeled? Just say the word. Yeah, he's not even talking to me any anymore, so how do we 
become more friendly with him. Need something pummeled? Just say the word. Perhaps it's time to get some rest. Right? I envy you sometimes. Why? Even the youngest human child knows of at least a dozen heroes of legend. These tales are taken for granted. They are so abundant. Oh, it makes me angry sometimes. Sorry. We Dalish have lost most of our history and our legends. What we do remember, we hold dear. We can share stories. They belong to everyone. But does a human child value the tale of the Paragon Idukan as much as he does Dane and the Werewolf? Stories connect us to our past. They shape a people in profound ways. Without them, we are lost. I just wish I could do something to restore this lost part of our soul. Make your own stories. Now you're just being ridiculous. Let's get on with the day. Wow. Okay, I was just trying to be nice, you know. You can make your own stories. Are you saying that you're not good enough to become a legend? I would like some time to myself. Is that the fresh dragon egg we got? Yeah, so for the, the Wade quests... Oh, I don't have wool padding. Master Lyrian Potion, pure iron. I have Blood Lotus, Master Lyrian Potion. Diamond, Greater Warmth Bomb. This I have. Heartwood, Wade. Oh, let's just talk to Wade first. And... Ogryn. Would you like some dragon piss? That looks fine indeed. <laughs> okay, thanks. Great, and then... Justice. Uh, what is that sound? Such beautiful singing. The stone within this ring. Is it Lyrium? You found it. Just as I asked of you. I am most grateful. You're welcome. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. Okay, good. Plus 19. Yeah. I know we have gifts that are... Hmm. Well, what's Ogryn at right now? Warm. Well, we have to come back and then probably he'll end up talking to us and all that stuff, right? Let's see. Maybe Velana will talk to me if I go back in? Not this time. Okay, let me just walk around by myself for a quick sec. Wade, got a bunch of stuff for you. Yes, Commander? Is this everything you need for the Dragonbone Sword? Yes, yes, we can begin. So momentous. Where to begin? What type of blade would you like? A two-handed... Oh. Mm, I don't get the impression I'll use it, but okay, a two-handed greatsword. The blade, it's balance. Your thoughts? Raw power, an unstoppable swing. Certainly, Commander. And for the forging itself, I have Fomari enchanted materials aplenty, and the bone is very receptive. Do whatever you think is best, Master Wade. Now, let me commence. Look at it. It's my finest work. Use it well. You're not gonna make me come back later like you usually do? <laughs> Vigilance! Oh, it's better than the Usara... Uh, Starfang! <gasps> Plus four to all attributes. You know what? That's actually really good. And I'll just take the runes off this one later and put it on the new one. Sweet. It's amazing. Yes, Commander? I found this ancient bark in the heart of a living tree. Let me see, let me see. Oh, oh amazing. This might be hardwood. Can what's hardwood? I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow or a shield. Yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. Another list? 
Oil? Cat gut? Cat gut, we saw this back in Black Marsh. Did I sell it? Flawless Ruby. That I I certainly sold that one. Grandmaster Lightning Rune. Oh, I don't know if I can collect all this stuff. I don't know where to find it. If I don't know it already, how do I how do I know where to find it? Oil cat gut. Oh, where is the cat gut? I definitely had it before, but I don't know. It could be anywhere by now. I don't know. I do have wool padding. Oh, when did I pick that up? Wool padding. Master Illyrium Potion, Pure Iron, Blood Lotus. Wait, is the Master Illyrium Potion the problem here? I think it might be. I have the materials, I just need a Master Herbalism. Okay, who was it again? Who had the stuff? Oh, they're not here. Hold up. Okay, let's go back in again. <laughs> As you say. Let's see. Anders? Anders, did you level up while I was gone? Can you do stuff? Yes. 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 Two mages. One rogue, one warrior. Not a bad combination. Anders, please. I know you don't get a skill every level up, though. See, that's the problem. He didn't get a um, skill level up this time. That's the problem. How much more until your next level up? Because what I could do is just give it to Velana instead. That could also work. But it would be a waste of the points that I put into Anders already. Look! You know what? Just do it. Whatever. Get it over with. Worry about this later. Okay, thank you, Valana, for volunteering. Now I need more elf root. Master Illyrium potion. Got that. Yes, Commander? I brought your supplies with a golem shell armor. Then stand back. A good bit back. Her end says sometimes I get overly excited with my hammer. <laughs> I did what I could with this, but I'm not happy with it. Not one bit. If you must wear it, please don't say I made it. <laughs> that bad? Golem shell armor. Wait, it's actually freakishly good. It's freakishly good. I'm not going to wear it because I'm too attached to this now and I feel like we're doing okay anyway. But it's good. Don't worry. I'll give it to one of the warriors back home. Ogren? Really? Have I ever told you that I find tattoos on women incredibly attractive? Have I ever told you that I find most humans physically and morally repulsive? Good to know. Can we not hit on people if they're not into it, please? Don't be Ogren 2.0, Anders. As you I should say, hate her, but I don't. I can respect a woman who fights for freedom and justice. But she's human. I can look past petty hatred when I have reason to. She freed the elven slaves. Funny, isn't it? Andraste fought a tyrannical empire, only to have her followers become one themselves. Hmm. An interesting observation. People with power never fail to abuse it, even those with good intentions. And wouldn't it be the same if the Dalish had power? No! I seek justice for my people, and... that is all. We would not be like... I, I wish to end this conversation. Let us be on our way. Gave her some food for thought, I think. She's very fiercely... What would you call it? Like, patriotic, but to a race? To her own race? But not beyond reason. Now, I wanted to come back here because, just like the statues, I think it's possible for us to... You said you find most humans repulsive. I was being polite. 
I meant you. This is one of those love-hate things, isn't it? Secretly, I've always wanted to take a human slug as my lover. So there's a chance. My goodness. Yeah, it looks like we can click on it, but... Oh! For some reason, when you're zoomed in, like, that doesn't work, but if you zoom out, it's okay. On the Avars who lived here. Oh, it's the continuation. Uh, the first one. We read these three already. With our warriors unmatched in skill and strength, and here we settled in the caves carved by the hand of Korth, the Mountain Father. Yes, Rodin, Shaman of the People. Remember Kivial. Hmm, okay. Is that the same as the one that's further down, or... Maybe that one's gonna be another continuation? Let me just check really quickly. I thought we were gonna come down here again, because of the there was a mechanism down there, right? We didn't really figure that out yet. But maybe later. Uh, where was the other warrior statue? Wasn't it here? Maybe I forgot where it was already. Oh, the crypt statue! Was that a... I couldn't click on this before, but if I zoom out... Ah! The darkness drove him to madness, but also gave him power. He turned our warriors against us. Kivil sought out the dwarves, and together they bound Rodin in this place. There's another one there. Anders, where are you going? Oh, that's it. It's the same one. Okay. Well, hey. At least we got it looked into now. I... can't remember. I'm gonna go down and check again. Was there another warrior statue here? Deeper in? Oh, uh, I bet they're gonna bring me back here later on, though. You're really, really grumpy. You noticed. I'm good at reading people. Ah, so it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm terribly obvious about it. <laughs> ah, we're all getting along. Why can't we all just get along? Is that not a thing? The answer is... no. Oh, here it is! More. Ancient vows. Kivil, nothing will hold me. These walls will rot before I expire. When they do, I shall defame your gods, call your mortal shells to serve me, and hunt down every last one of your kinsmen, Avar and Dwarf. The Avar people? I know less about the Avar than... probably even like Chantry and Andrasse stuff. The names have been coming up, I've been slowly recognizing them, but their overall story? Not too sure what's going on there. I uh, don't think we have to keep going now, but let me just check that odd mechanism again. There were three other... yeah, there's other walls here. Last time we only opened this one, and... We couldn't go further? Yeah... It is begun. Okay, fine. Perhaps one day we could sit down to discuss magic. What would that accomplish? Lots? Great civilizations are built on the sharing of ideas. Sharing? You mean stealing, of course, followed by crushing those you stole from. You know that chip on your shoulder? I think it's replaced your head. Ooh. <laughs> guys, guys, let's be civil here. The fact that Anders is a human isn't doing any favors for Velana, unfortunately. Okay, let me go back in. Let's hold off on moving to the next step of whatever we're doing here, but we can talk to Mistress Woolsey, right? I do not know where you found them. The Canari seems especially dubious. But the Vigil's market is busy once again. This will certainly aid in our upcoming efforts. With the surplus in the treasury, I took the liberty of getting you this. 
Well done, Commander. Oh, thank you. Sixty sovereigns. Why? <laughs> Why though? I don't know. They're giving me so much money that I'll literally just never use. Uh, people, people are here. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna go back to Amaranthine, I think. Yeah, before that, why don't we take out all the gifts we have and give it out? That'd be cool. I don't know who likes what specifically. Doesn't matter. Oh, the collar. We can give it to Anders. Hopefully, he won't misunderstand. Soap on a rope. All this stuff. Even this Val underscore I am underscore gift underscore thoughtful. <laughs> I wonder if that would do anything. Okay. Anders, would you like a collar for your kitty? You shouldn't have. Oh, he like loves me. Because Anders is kind of easygoing, I guess. Ogren. I gave him the dragon piss already, right? I think this is just like a regular gift, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Toy horse. A child might appreciate the simple toy. What's this? A baby's plaything? Yes. You wanted a pony. Wait, you paid attention to what I said when I was drunk? Oh, that's special. Ooh, hey, wanna buy a bridge? Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> ah, just as well. The real one's poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I made him a little bit happier. Plus 17. Good, good. I'm surprised he would remember what he says when he's drunk. Need something pummeled? Yeah. Just say the word. Ooh, I think a blister on my foot just exploded. Ew, get that cleaned up. What? Ooh, okay. I think if we a want the thing to progress, we might have to leave and come back and all that good stuff. Oh, the toy horse is probably with the toy chariot then. It's the same set of stuff. Probably, right? Who would- oh. In this old journal, an elf who lived in Amaranthine writes about the hardships of daily life. Easy one. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. Is it? The Warrior's Heart. Grey Wardens. Ash Warriors, Legion of the Dead, and Silent Sisters. Oh! Seagrun likes reading. For me? Oh, wow! Phylacteries? Do you think Anders would- want to learn more about phylacteries. Does it matter though? Because he doesn't- he won't benefit from this though. That's what I'm thinking about too. I'm still thinking Ogryn is the most important person we need, we need to push up the ratings for right now. Everyone else is kind of like, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, wait, hold on. You need anything, Commander? So for one of the item quests, it looks like we need a- we need a Grandmaster Lightning Rune, right? And then you have the Rune Tracing. Just the rune tracing, which means I gotta make it. But can I make it here? Oh, I need to move my runes. That's right. May I be of service? Of course. Enchantment? Enchantment. I don't know what to do with Sir Alvard's sword. I have three of them. I feel like I shouldn't just sell it, but what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Grandmaster Frost Rune. Sweet. Justice? I don't even actually have enough. I haven't done anything with the rune crafting. Should we get a move on? If you guys come out and let me see what I need to make a Grandmaster rune? Yes. Who? Who's rune crafting again? Was it Anders? Yes. It shouldn't be Anders. Yes. Yes. Did you just say yes? I think it was Nate. Grandmaster 
lightning rune. You need a master lightning rune and etching agent. Etching agent, I'm guessing we can buy. Master lightning rune, how do I get that? Master... So I have to build up? I have to keep building up? Ah, this might take a while then. Can we just find a... Grandmaster Lightning Rune somewhere? Your glares suggest that you don't care for my presence. I'm simply wondering how your kind can call yourselves nobles. It seems ironic. We like irony. And it rolls off the tongue better than oppressors. Ah, so you're a funny human. Not I. I wouldn't dare lighten your mood, milady. <sighs> we don't have any people who get along at all. I think I'm gonna do a quick trip back around the other places. I did look up where the companion dialogue points are and surprisingly we've hit like 90% of them already. I think one that we're missing is... Actually, we need Seagrin for that one. You know what? Let's go back to Amaranthine first. One thing I forgot to do was to hand in the ring for the guy. The guy who died in the mines. He wanted me to give his wife his ring. Oh! I haven't had one of these for a while. Andiran Atishan travelers, do not be startled. We only wish to be about our way. Marin? Falana! Well, well, this is certainly a surprise. You traveling with... Humans, yes. Believe me, the irony does not escape me, clanmate. We are no longer your clan, Valana. What's he talking about? Valana was exiled. She does not oh. have a clan. We... Stop. I do not wish to speak of this. Marin, the others who left with me, they are dead. And Serrani is gone. Taken by the dark spawn. If she's still alive, we'll find her. Thank you, whoever you are. You have my gratitude. Ilshe warned her not to go with you, Valana. You see what you brought on her? Then tell Ilshe that she was right. Oh, I can see her smug. Ilshe has passed on. You know nothing but hatred. The clan is better off without your poison. We haven't known her long enough to know if she's changed, really, but I'll, I'll back her up anyway, because I'm her commander now. That's not true. Valana loves her sister. A human is willing to defend you? This speaks volumes, Valana. Ah, we've lingered too long. Andrul, guide your path, Falana. Do not make a fuss over me. Let us be on our way. Falana should have a companion quest too, right? So maybe that was the beginning trigger for it. There is a person in Amaranthine who sells elf root, I think? Velana is fond of the color green as well as items that remind her of her elven culture and nature. Such as what? Like a, a knitted scarf, right? Um, does Velana have another dialogue point somewhere around here? Hold on, let me deal with the wife. They don't tell me where the wife is. How am I supposed to know where she is? Does she also live in the Chantry? I need... I think the elf root guy is... This guy? <gasps> you wait, you still help! <laughs> you, you still pwn help all this is? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I could have just solved this problem with money the whole time. Yet I started giving everyone- I started putting points into herbalism for like everybody. Because I didn't look at this guy. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna make it anyway, just because I can. Because I- <laughs> Oh, Flawless Ruby. Holy crap, 28? Sovereigns? Okay, I'll buy it. I need it for the- one of the item quests. Damn it, this guy just sold it the whole time. What? <laughs> oh my Damsels God. in distress, waiting to be saved. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's <laughs> Velana, that's right. Oh, good lord. One, two, 
Three. Good enough. Oh no, I got six. I even made one extra. Fantastic for myself. Okay, let's go. Uh, but where's the wife though? Where is the wife? There aren't actually that many houses in Amaranthine. So if she's around here, we should see her. Still with the deadly looks, my lady. My lady is such a human thing to call someone. It is a term of respect. You think it's human to be respectful? Now you're mocking me. I think you're a lovely woman and do some respect. So I call you a lady. Well, stop it. <laughs> I can't tell if Nate is messing with her or not. All men are the work of our maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. You should have just asked for me to give you money. Like, <sighs> the poultice guy was right there. Like, why did I do all that? <sighs> okay, where is the damn wife? Where is the damn wife? Oh. Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. You're Nita, Keenan's wife? Yes, I am Nita. Something has happened, hasn't it? I... um... sweetheart. Oh. Could you give us a moment alone? I said it already, though. I said it out loud. Keenan's wife. Is... is Keenan dead? Yes. He died making the world better for all of us. He said that, did he? Mm. His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? Damn. With the way she said it just now, he said this, did he? <laughs> Sounded like she is kind of fed up with how he might be normally. <sighs> to defeat the Darkspawn, we must all make sacrifices. Keenan made the sacrifice willingly. He never asked me if I felt the same. Love can only take you so far. That's... Well, I'm glad he never found out. Mm, that's a bit... But also not my place to say anything. You've done all you can here. Please, I would like some time alone. I did what was asked of me. And that's the end of that. Okay, so I think, uh, let's see, let me try and... Mmm, Velana's exile. Discuss Velana's exile with her. She's unwilling to speak about this at the moment. Okay, so two more people. Oh, we gotta do the joining as well. And then... Oh, I realize that this stuff... It's actually in my plot items. Oil, cat gut. Because they were scared I would accidentally sell it. And they were right to be scared, because I would've. Now I just need Grandmaster Lightning Rune. Let me look around and see what we can do here. It's a Dalish, Nella. Come see. Oh, she's very stern, isn't she? What's she doing here, do you think? I'm right here, you slack-jawed oafs. At least have the courtesy to speak when I pass by. Oh, we're sorry, great lady. We didn't mean to offend. City elves meeting Dalish elves for the first time? Wow, this interaction point wasn't even marked. You just had to walk close to it. Valana, these are your people. Why? Because they have pointed ears and a delicate bone structure? How are these my people? Look at how they cower. They're like frightened animals. The sight of them sickens me. They're your people in the same way how you hate all humans. Exactly the same way. And they called you great lady and all that too, which is weird. It's a little bit weird. An elf on equal standing with another elf saying that. They're scared. They cowered because you yelled at them. What would you have me do? Encourage their cringing ways? Who will stand up for them or respect them if they allow themselves to be terrified by passersby? And you think cruelty will fix this? If it will spur them to action, yes. You too. A Dalish amulet carved from the heart of a tree as old as this world. Remember who you are. Damn. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done that interaction, huh? Damn, girl. 
but she did give them something. Definitely a tough love kind of person, I guess. Sure, you know what? Sure. I think we have one more with Sigrun at Wendingwood. Surprisingly, that's all we missed. Mmm, trees smell good. Grass <laughs> smells good too, and flowers, of course. The surface is full of such wonderful smells. In the deep roads, all you smell is moist rock or dry earth. And dark spawn. There's a smell I won't miss. The dark spawn smell bad? You haven't noticed? Ugh, the only thing worse than the smell of dark spawn is the smell of brood mothers. Now there's a foulness that cannot be described. But trees? Trees smell good. <laughs> what a riveting conversation. But I can see that. Yeah, the surface full of oxygen. When you're down underground all the time, I imagine the um, air circulation's pretty bad. But I also feel like if you smell darkspawn all the time, then wouldn't you sort of get used to it? Or maybe it just smells that bad that you can't even get used to it. One last thing I want to do before going back to Vigil's Keep, I think, is... I'm gonna check out Knotwood Hills again. Last time we were in Calha Roll, we didn't have Nate, so I couldn't open the chests, and I think I also missed some other stuff. How do you stand living under all that rock? I don't understand. We just do. Orzammar is under a mountain. Just thinking about the crushing weight of a mountain overhead makes me shudder. Surfacers live in buildings. If a building falls on you, it will make you just as dead. Thanks for the reminder. Eh, different lifestyles. We're all used to different things. So you not only gave up on killing the Grey Warden who murdered your father, you actually joined the Order. Are you trying to pick a fight, Velana? Baiting me like this is juvenile. I just wanted to know how you felt. How do you feel knowing you murdered all those people because you were too arrogant to check your facts? Whoa! Warm and fuzzy. You're a terrible person. And your ears are clownish. What? Who's juvenile now? Guys, please! We're supposed to fight the Darkspawn together! Your ears are so pointy, like an animal. Do they make it easier for you to hear? Are you... are you saying my ears are big? Not excessively so. You... you think they're clownish, don't you? You know, now that you mention it... Whoa! I knew it! <laughs> don't talk to me. Low blow, Sigrun. They were just talking about that earlier, too. Inert Golem. The golem stands silent. Was I supposed to bring the golem rod here? Because I don't have it. I think I left it in the chest. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't sell it. Uh, maybe I'll come back here again later to check this out. Huh. You believe that your ancestors used to be immortal? I don't believe it. It's true. How do you know? Why would the elders lie? Why, indeed. You would know a lot about your family members lying, Nate. She really believes in all the elven stuff and that humans are all the devil, but... A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, huh? Oh? I cannot let them be forgotten. No! Oh! Oh, this was the ending of the story of Dailan. Yeah, the one guy that was organizing the cast list to try to help defend the Taig. The one room I missed before. Broken sword. I can repair this. Partha. I'll get on it. May the stone remember the defenders of Kal Haral. Who were born castless and died warriors. Died warriors? He... He wanted them to be remembered as warriors. Warrior cast. And look, he carved their names in this tablet. All of them. We can't just leave this here. We have to find some way to honor the memory of those who died here. Ah, uh, we were just talking about that last time too. Because he was all like, I'm going to give them a name. And I was like, well, do something about it, right? He actually did. Warrior cast. The dwarves left the castles behind when they fled Cal Harol. As representatives of Orzammar, Voldric and Dorkin would be interested in seeing the tablet we just found. 
with the cast list as names. Okay. Good thing we came back for this then, huh? But that's it. I can repair the sword? Immediately. Kalak. Not the greatest, but not horrible either. It's one-handed. Probably Justice can make use of it. Alright. Think we're ready to go back to Vigil's Keep now. 